everyone, this is Anna from Koala Soaps. Um, today I'm going to be making a peppermint soap and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. Here I have some glycerin melt and pour and then here I have some red uh, color block called Stained Glass Santa um, that I'm going to go ahead and put in. So I'm going to just take a little bit off that and I'm going to put it in here and then we're going to go ahead and melt it and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So it's now completely melted. And this is actually going to be for the top layer, which I'm going to be shaving. So I'm just going to pour it in some regular um, loaves or molds right now. And we're just going to wait for that to set. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to fill it up all the way because I'm actually just going to be shredding these once they set. So we have the red in there. It's all mixed and ready to go. There's some bubbles there. I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to squirt them with a little alcohol and get rid of them. And we'll be back to finish our project. Okay, we're back and we're ready to unmold these. These are nice and cool now. And so I have my little um, vegetable peeler. And I'm going to go ahead and unmold these. And it's a nice, nice red color. I didn't put any scent in these mainly because I'm going to be shredding these. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to shred like little pieces off. And I'm just going to continue to do that until I have a good amount. Um, the kind of um, vegetable pill that works the best is the kind without a guard on it. Um, and then as you can see, these are coming out and they're like nice little curls. Um, and then I will come back when all of these are ready to go. Okay guys, I'm back. I have my shavings done, which I did with this little doohead. They actually are nice curls, but really even if you weren't able to get any curls, it's okay because you're really, I'm gonna try and experiment with these. And we'll, we'll show you that a little bit later. And of course I still have a lot of soap left. So I can do either remelt them down or use them for more shavings later. So I'm going, I have a new loaf. And it's actually, I thought it was, it was smaller than my other loaf, but I actually measured it. This actually holds an additional cup and a half. So it's a more tall and skinny than my old loaf. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but this was, this is the loaf I'm going to be using tonight. This is goat's milk melt, melt and pour with a little bit of titanium dioxide in it. This is glycerin, melt and pour, and this has that stained glass Santa soap color block. Both of these are uh, supposed to be non-bleeding, so we'll, we'll give it a shot and try. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and melt these down and then I'll be back. Okay, we're back. These are melted down and we're gonna check our temperatures. So 156. And 169. So this one um, just finished. Um, I'm going to be using peppermint that I got from Wholesale Supplies. And we're going to let these cool down and then I'll be back and then we'll start pouring. Okay, I'm actually going to start pouring this one into the mold. The way I get my swirl, at least the way I got it last time, was I actually poured this when this was just a little colder. So I'm going to go ahead. It also gave me kind of an idea if I even used enough. Soap. I think I did. I hope I did. So, okay. So, I think that's going to be good for that. And we will go ahead and spray it down because I see some air bubbles in there. Okay. And then we will wait for this to cool down a little bit longer and then we'll go ahead and we will pour the red. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so I have my goat's milk now at, it says 128. And my glycerin is at 133. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to make my swirl the way I've been very successful doing it lately. So I'm gonna drop it from a little higher up. I'm in a new I'm in a new mold, so hopefully it works. It didn't want to go through over here, so I might be in a little bit of trouble. I don't like to swirl, but in this case I just might have to. I'm not good at swirls, that's the only reason why I don't like to do it. But it is what it is. Okay, so 
we're going to go ahead and let that set. Uh, put a little bit of alcohol on it. And then while that's getting settled, I need to actually melt this goat's milk. And then we're going to add this and blend. And then the plan is to add it to this. I'm a little nervous about how um, I waited too long, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, and we're back. So I've melted the new melt and pour, and it is a little bit hot right now. It's too hot to pour onto this. This is settled nicely. Um, I still, it's a little soft right here, but that's okay. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit, then I'm gonna start using the mixer. Um, what I do is I got this from, oops, I got this from Amazon. It's a Hamilton Beach mixer, but what's great about it is it has these, and it also came with one of these, a whisker that goes right in. So it actually worked out really nicely. Um, and this again, I use separately from our regular um, hand mixer that we use. But this is where the experiment is. I'm gonna let this cool down so that when I put these in, they're not gonna melt. I do want them to mix. I don't want them to stay like this. I just want there to be like a speckled um, design in the whip. So we'll see how it works out, but I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit more because there's really not much I can do right now until it cools down. Okay, so my temperature is now about 145. So I'm gonna actually start mixing. I actually put the whisk attachment on and this is just regular melt and pour. I do have a little bit of um, titanium, titanium oxide in it. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on the lowest setting. Forgot to tell you, this is a good time to maybe wear a mask because you probably can't see, but you're going to get a lot of little bubbles coming up. And that's okay, but just so you know, little bubbles. Nice. So we're gonna start um, getting to the temperature that we need to pour. Okay, and when you see it's starting to come over my um, whisk, that's when it, you know it's ready, and there's a lot of trace right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squirt my alcohol, and we're gonna have to pour, and just the pouring of it's gonna go real quick. It's like a gobbly goo. That's even a word. I think you know what I mean. Okay. And it starts to set really fast. So now I have these other little um, things I can maybe use as an embed. So I'm going to maybe try to get some of these in here before this dries. Because I can't stir them in, so I might as well place them in. Squirting alcohol on everything. Try to get them in there. And the good news is I can actually remelt. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much set, but we can try one more. All right, and what I might do is like take my little spoon and just kind of push those in just a smidge because they're not going to want to stay other, any other way. And these may not last, these may not stay in there, but they might. And you can see that this is already set. Can you see how that's... Now, it's fine, I can remelt it down. Um, so it's not really wasted. I did make a little bit too much. I didn't realize how much it would fluff up. And it's a little pink now, it's not white. But it's, it's uh, just so it has like a little bit of a pink hue to it just because of the um, little spirals that I uh, mixed in. So we will, I'm going to put this away and save it. And we will let this set and then we will do the unmolding and we will see what happens.